Welcome back to another NBA recap where I'm going to be going over the best of Wednesday's slate. Starting things off, the Clippers, they're going to be getting a win on their home floor against the Denver Nuggets who beat them shorthanded in embarrassing fashion last week. And all of a sudden, in their last 10 games, the Clippers are 7-3 and three with their big four playing and they're getting contributions from all of them. Whether it's Russell Westbrook providing a spark off the bench or James Harden facilitating Paul George and Kawhi Leonard could be ISO score as well so they've been finding a way to get it done and as far as the Nuggets Jokic did put up a triple double despite the loss but he had one of his career worst shooting games as he was 9 for 32 from the field so maybe it's something the Clippers were doing schematic wise or maybe it was just an off night for the Joker the Nets and Hawks game was a battle in clutch time between Mikhail Bridges and Trey Young, but Mikhail Bridges, who's been heating up over the last seven or so games, ends up hitting the game winner as part of a 32-point outing for him. Steph Curry continues to just carry the load for the Golden State Warriors. Klay Thompson, he struggled again. Wiggins, Chris Paul, they're not given much offensively, but a dagger three to seal win over the Trailblazers, and at this point in the season for the Warriors, it doesn't matter who they're beating, it just matters that they're getting the wins. The Houston Rockets, they continue to dominate on their home court. They're a completely different team at home versus on the road, and they're going to beat a very good OKC Thunder team. Alpern Shangoon right now, as far as the odds, he's the front or he's the runner up behind Tyrese Maxey for most improved player. Speaking of players that are improving a lot, Paolo Bancaro, he put up a career high 42 points, and he's showing those flashes in year two that he could have superstar potential. Donovan Mitchell put up 35 in the Cavs won. Luka Doncic continues to put up insane numbers and in the two games since becoming a father, tonight he had a 40 point triple double 40, 10, and 11 and the first game after becoming a father, 36 points, 15 rebounds, and 18 assists and he had a 29 point triple double in the first half or 25 point triple double in the first half, first player in NBA history to do that. They won by 50 tonight. He's trying to make his case for MVP. The Minnesota Timberwolves continue to build on the best record in the NBA. Anthony Edwards returned tonight. They're 16-4, and four, and the Spurs dropped their 15th straight game. They have three losses to, or three wins to 17 losses right now. And across the NBA, there was definitely a burst in scoring. Part of that could be teams have had three to four days off. So Joel Embiid, he put up 50. He was ready to go after over a week off for him. Desmond Bain, he put up a career-high 49. I talked about Paolo, Luca, and Don but it was definitely an exciting night around the association.